Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the London session. It is Friday, July the 7th. The time is 0140, New York local time. My name is Reese. I'm going to be your tour guide through price. I'm going to be employing the models first derived and created by Inner Circle Trader. He's an online personality. His name is Michael. Guys, we are trading the NASDAQ. Okay, we're on Top Step Trader. All right, I'm a Top Step Trader uh, promoter, an affiliate. And so if you would like to start your own combine, please make sure to use my link in the description box below um, and don't clear cookies. Uh, I do get a sales commission if you purchase through my link. So I would uh, ask that you do that. No extra cost to you. So if you want to support me financially, uh, you're already going to buy a Top Step Combine. Um, you know, please use my link so I get that sales commission. All right, guys. We're here. We're here, guys. It's probably going to be a long one. Um, got a break-even stop for risk management in the market, guys. We're looking for one standard deviation from breaker. So, so we had A, B, and C. One standard deviation takes us down to this liquidity down here. guys we're gonna uh, get one more short here that one's gonna just be a, a quick short target and um, all right so that's that uh, at this point the stop is gonna go up Hey okay, guys, so you can see that I use, um, I believe that that is going to be an order block here forming. And one standard deviation of that order block that we just formed would take us there. So that's what I just did there. So guys, I'll let you know if I use um, an ICT uh, derived model. Um, this is order block, order block with standard deviation. Um, I believe it is a valid order block, although as you can see, price is kind of fiddling and it's probably going to put me in a drawdown at this point um, so we're probably looking at a protracted trade here this thing is coming back up against me uh, I'm looking for a draw much lower I'm looking for a draw uh, to Thursday uh, July 6 New York lunch low down here I think that the overnight session is drawing down there Guys, I'm listening to uh, house music, trying to get in the zone. All right. Price hasn't done a whole lot tonight. What I want to do now, guys, is I want to walk you through um, some of my existing trades, you know, Let's go on the three minute chart. So, uh, first pair of trades tonight after resettlement was um, a scaled into two short contracts here. And that, so the original one here, you can see the SIBI over here. First contract was not so good. Second contract was a good entry. Exited here um, at the one standard deviation. And then as price came back up, I covered the second contract there. So that was uh, a profit profitable trade there. First came, uh, second short of the day. I've only been shorting, guys, because I think the draw is lower. Um, you can see that I shorted at 15,231.50 as price was coming back down. I thought it was going to turn there and reclaim this SIBI over here. But um, this was a part of a breaker. We pushed into liquidity. So second short came at 242.75 here. So I uh, got the top tick of this green candle here and then covered it uh, first contract down here second contract here okay uh, we then took a loss um, shorted again four contracts as it came up again 
we covered another four contracts. Within, um, yeah, we took a scratch, so we took a break even trade there, and now we're sitting short again. So that has been uh, a recap of our trades thus far tonight, guys. We're sitting up on the account tonight. Um, our profit target for today's session uh, is, I'll show you. Guys, it's 157.197. So we have work to do. We have a lot of work to do, guys. We have over 2K of work to do. But Lord willing, with patience and discipline, and with the guidance of the good Lord, we will get there. Okay? We're going to exercise risk management today. All right. We're going to exercise risk management. We're going to exercise responsible trading. I want to show you responsible trading. Okay, so one standard deviation of that order block right there, that's what I'm aiming for this uh, this trade. Now it's actually gonna take off my first contract, so that makes sense, because it's FIFO, so that contract is gonna be the one that actually comes off. Uh, first in, first out. So, and then um, two contracts are gonna stay on, because I'm hoping you know that we're getting close to the draw. I'm gonna remove yellow box. Uh, Okay, guys. There we go. Looking for that first contract to come off nice and easy. That's kind of the thinking. I'm going to give it a minute, guys. I'm not going to take it off just because it's hanging there. No reason to believe that price should stop going down here. Uh, we've got plenty of liquidity. Uh, draw liquidity should be, uh, you know, nice and lower. So if we have to wait for another retracement, it's okay. Uh, I have no reason to believe that price should stop here and turn around. Not yet. Going on the full screen, guys. Gonna hold on to this for a second, guys. Um, it should want to push into that near short-term liquidity there. It should not want to stop here, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm one point shy of a uh, first buy limit. I have no reason to believe that price is stop there, guys. Risk management. Buy stop is going there. We're gonna lock in our trade guy. Okay. Ah, yeah. Первый заказ вот там, вот, вот. Что это такое на спред? Ah, all right. We're waiting, guys. We still. All right. One contract is going to come off. I cannot handle this. One's off. That's off. I'm just frustrated with that, guys. Honestly. So one's just coming off.
show you that execution, guys. Okay. So that first contract from 226 just came off at 223 quarters. So a couple points there, like a hundred fake dollars. Let's see where we're sitting right now, guys. Um, we got work to do. We got a lot of work to do, guys. But uh, Lord willing, we will get there. Lord willing, we will get there. We will keep working. Got more money to make. As the key to ICT trading. Kluch, kluch. Das wich, die wichtige Punkt ist. Das haupt, sag, die, die Hauptsache ist. The draw on liquidity. Okay. Where does price want to go? That's why these breakers are, are incredible, guys. They're going to show you, they line up with the liquidity target. It gives you a window into the future if you know how to use it. It can give you a window in the future. I'm not telling you to buy or sell security. Um, what I am telling you is that the key, the key is the draw on liquidity. The PD arrays are entry mechanisms. The key is the draw on liquidity. Where does price want to go? Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a little bit advanced stuff there. I'm just assuming that this is going to be an order block here. These four candles, assuming that's going to be an order block, we're just going for one standard deviation lower on a single contract. So what am I doing, guys? I'm working the contracts, okay? Uh, we're taking off these top contracts, and then we're leaving two on for the big runner. Does that make sense? So we're just working it. You can see that we took one here. Now that is that contract is actually still on. Does that make sense? That that contract is still on. It actually took off this one. So that 235 is the next one at 213 I want to take off. At the at the first standard deviation of this order block. So assuming that this is going to be an order block, we're going to trade below the open of that candle because we're drawing lower. We should be drawing lower. One standard deviation of that takes us to 213 spot 75. Uh, if it's not an order block, then uh, we've got more work to do. We'll, we'll probably have to get on a fourth contract. We're probably going in a drawdown, etc., etc. If if my analysis is incorrect, so we could be in for a little bit of a siege here, a little bit of a long battle if it wants to come all the way back up. Okay.
Yeah, I think the draw on liquidity. Um, all right, let's take a look. show you all the ICT dealing range and premium discount model okay so do you see this green all right you see how that's 75 50 and 25 we're sitting above the 50 of this range here meaning we're sitting in a, in a premium which should go seek discount and that's another ICT model they are suggesting that we are going to come down but exactly when I don't know got non-farm payrolls tomorrow let's check out our regular trading hours ladies and gentlemen all right so you can see that Thursday's trading re-delivered into this regular trading hours gap now a lot of people trading ICT are gonna think that Friday's trading should come all the way back up and fill in that gap I'm not so convinced of that yet I'm not gonna, I'm, you know we do have we do have this busy down here to, to deliver I'm not so certain that we're drawing higher for Friday's trading because I think you know the price looked like it found a little bit of resistance on this Friday's opening opening range candle so it would you know I'm not convinced that it's gonna want to come up and fill in this regular trading hours gap I'm thinking the draw for Friday's trading could be down again could be down again that's that's kind of what I'm thinking guys um, that's just my hasten to guess right now. We'll see. You know, just looking at the regular trading hours, the fact that it came down here exactly, came up here exactly, exactly filled in that regular trading hours gap, would tell me that it's, you know, that feels like it should be pretty balanced and that it doesn't need to come all the way back up here and close that gap out. I could be wrong, okay. Could come all the way back up. We could get a big rally on Friday. I just want to be clear. It's absolutely possible. Um, and if so, then we're going to draw up to 351. We should draw up to 351 evens. However, not so convinced. Okay, we've got these lows here that, that are a liquidity target, number one. But then we've also got these bissies down here that have not been re-delivered to the sell side. We draw lower take out this liquidity, take out this liquidity, come in, start re-delivering these um, uh, buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiencies. That seems like a reasonable uh, thing for price to do. Also, you know, from a long time ago, we've got a hole in the chart, lower. So, you know, Friday's trading might just get a big green up candle, just come in and reprice, to, reprice this um, regular trading hours gap. But, you know, that's not guaranteed, guys. We, we do have reasons to go lower as well. Let's look at our daily chart. Take a look at the weekly. I've been saying this, guys, but that that might have been the high on the Nasdaq, like long term. I mean, looking at this, right? We have a high, we have a low, we have a higher high that obviously puts into liquidity. That's an ICT bearish breaker, guys, and that's taken us, you know, to a reasonable. We're on the daily chart here. Look at that, where the first standard deviation is here on the daily chart. It's an inefficiently delivered price. Volume imbalance down here, 13980 You know, just looking at this, high, low, higher high, right? That seems to me, and right, then come back up and retest it, run the stops up to this rejection block. It's really feeling to me like this, that might have been that Friday, 16th of June, 
kind of feeling to me like that is a long-term high. Now, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't, I don't play on these time frames, really. But if I did play on these time frames, I would be betting that the NASDAQ is coming down here like that. Okay. That's just, you know, and it would make sense here that we have this volume imbalance down here. We're inefficient to the sell side down below 14,000. So, and remember that the December contract is going to start approaching. And in order to get price efficient for December, all these holes in the chart are going to have to get filled in, or they should be filled in, for a fair and efficient NASDAQ. So, it's kind of my long-term thinking right now. I don't really play on those time frames, though. Let's get back on our tiny time frames. Okay, guys, um, this stop is coming in the market. I don't really want to see it trade back up above that short term high. So we're just going to lock in a little bit of a profit on, on these contracts and then see where price wants to go from there. Okay. Because what I'm worried about is that the price wants to come and visit above New York open 12 a.m. again. And I'd like to just go ahead and lock in uh, risk management, guys. That's what that stop is, just risk management. If there's one thing you, of which you can be certain, it's that there will be another trade. stopped out just gonna pull these we're flat 155 313 okay guys we got work to do but Lord willing we will get there Guys, welcome to the London session. long one. Just using a standard deviation from this uh, order block here. That should be an order block or an 
you know, close enough. Um, and I'm aiming for the two, second standard deviation. I could get up back to the three. That would bring us back up to the Sibi up here. And that would be a six point trade. It's about a hundred fake dollars. So that would not be too bad. We'll just take that. Probably going to add on a second contract here. I'll just aim for that second standard deviation. Take us back up to our volume imbalance. Okay, we're going to add one more long. We're going to do a full pull at the two. Stop is going to uh, be in the marketplace. We're long two. That's going to be a 224 evens. We're aiming for that second standard deviation, guys, of this uh, black candle here, which is an order block, or it's kind of an order block. It's not really paired with a good inefficiency, but I'm using that as an order block. And black candle right there. Two standard deviations of that candle is 230 evens, and I, I think we're going to hit that. All right, we got a strong bearish reaction there off the one. But I personally think that it's like, why am I long here? Because I think it's going back above New York Open Midnight, like all the way up to that, maybe that three. Just aiming for the two. And then um, that bearish breaker is still valid. Uh, so this is a counter draw move. I think we are drawing lower, and I'm counter to that right now. But I don't think that we're going lower just just yet. Maybe London. Well, we're in London, but maybe after London cash up. The market showed a willingness to use that there as a key algorithmic signature. So we're looking for five points or six six something points on two contracts, about 240 minus commissions, about 220. That's what we're looking for. Looking for it really to kind of pop off pretty quickly. could be a propulsion block. I'm not super comfortable with propulsion blocks if I'm being honest with you. I'm not. That could be one.
for trading back down into that order block uh, that I drew the uh, standard deviations from. Might take a loss on this, we'll see. I'm just going to let the stop be hit. I'm not going to move it. Yeah, I guess it maybe react just directly off that one. You can see it almost got to the one and then got an immediate uh, bearish reaction there. Which we do think that it's drawing lower. I just uh, kind of thought that I could sneak a cute one in here. And it's not looking like I can get cute on this. It's looking like it is at this very moment. Yeah, just going to come straight down. Um, so. But we will see. If I can get away with this cuteness. This this is trying to be cute here, really. Uh, trying to reverse pretty quickly here into a long. So, I've been doing nothing but short. And that's been working for me. We'll see. Всем, мои русские зрители, я приветствую вас. Okay, guys, this uh, trade is. Uh, I got. I got. Try to get cute with this. The draw is lower. We are going to be stopped out here, guys. Okay. It actually did make it to the one standard deviation of that order block there. Um, so we're going to take a loss on this one, guys. More likely than not, I'm just going to let the stop play out. 
Not moving it, guys. If we take a loss, we take a loss. That is just fine. It's not ideal, but guys, if you don't let your stops get hit, it could get much worse. So you gotta let your stops get hit. You're not gonna get every. T you know, you're not gonna get every trade. So I do think that the draw on liquidity at this point is pretty firmly lower. And so, um, all right, there's a loss. That's fine, guys. Uh, we're actually, this is, you know, you're gonna, you're not gonna like this one. I know, but guys. We're just, we're just gonna get short one contract. We're just getting short straight one. Not even bothering waiting. And we're going to aim for first. Okay. Let's just, let's just try and get a quick win in. Just 10 points on one contract. Let's just go for the one. Assuming that's going to be an order block. So let's just aim for that one or not. Oh boy, all right. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna have to just build into a short position here then, because I do think the draw is lower, but obviously he didn't want to give me that. I'm glad this was just one contract. Alright. So. Let's see what ICT models are available to us. Um, got a volume imbalance, imbalance there. We've got a... I know I said imbalance wrong. It I just always comes out imbalance. I don't know why. Volume imbalance. I don't know. That's how it comes out of me every time. Um, got a volume imbalance there. Uh, got another volume imbalance there. We got a sip, uh, volume imbalance up there. So uh, it could make its way all the way back up to that New York open midnight price. Um, I'm pretty convicted at this point that the draw is going to be down to this low. So however long price wants to take to get there, just let it do its thing. Um, so we took a loss there. We're at 154, 786. So we took a three. We did take a loss there. 154, 801. So we got like $2,300 to go, guys. We got work. We got a lot of work to do. One, we need to get up to 157, 197. So we got a lot of work to do. I'm not going to lie. Much work. Gotta get that way up. It was a hard loss, guys. I was like 350. And this is not looking good either. <laughs> Shorted at the very bottom, but we're going to build this in, guys. This is not going to be our first, not going to be our only entry in this short. This one's going to be a pyramid. I'm not going to reverse long. I'm not doing it. I think that would be very unwise, as I believe that the draw liquidity reasonably is going to be lower. Balance price range here. It's, we shorted the absolute bottom. Oh man, that's tough. Okay, okay. Just gonna let it. Just gonna let it run against me, and we'll add on the second contract short. Ay 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 ay. I guess the stop on that long was a bit meh, suboptimal. Okay. Might have to get flat and just wait. Um, we're up in a one minute um, sibby here. All right. Second contract's coming up. I'm gonna go for a full pull at this order block one. Traded below it, so you know it should be valid. You 
See how price there, these two green candles that then trades below the open of that candle? That is an ICT bearish order block. Projecting that one standard deviation lower will take us there. So we're looking to make full pull down there. contract if it gets seems like it wants to go lower immediately but I am just gonna wait now all right I'm gonna take my finger off the trigger and wait Turning lower right here at this price is good. That's a good sign. Let's see if that becomes an order block. Okay, guys, we're going short of third contract. Um, is this too much? Maybe. I don't know. It's really feeling like it wants to shoot lower. A lot of people are going to believe that this thing's going to come straight back up, so, and there's going to be a lot of liquidity down here, guys. We've got a lot of lows down here to go around. Okay. Just going to hide the drawings for a minute. Let's see how this trade plays out, guys. All right, y'all. I want to see this thing shoot lower. That's our new day opening gap right there, by the way. See, Price has been using that as support all night. I think I think this is looking good. I don't want to add on another contract. I think it would be irresponsible. So three is enough. But I uh, believe that there's a good chance this thing should shoot in our direction. We'll see. If not, we're just going to scale higher. I, I really do believe that these lows are going to get run. Okay, it's running against us. God damn it. Oh.
for watching the NASDAQ on the five minute chart. Time is 02.25 New York local time. We're short three contracts near the bottom. I'm looking for a shot lower based on an ICT bearish breaker model and time distortion. So those are the two things that we're looking at here. Um, first two contracts, just to narrow what's going on, that's um, a standard deviation projection of an order block. And then the final contract is the one standard deviation of uh, ICT bearish breaker. So that's what we're looking for, guys. I'm not going to add on any more contracts. We're going to exercise um, risk management here. And to manage the trade, guys, break even stop is going to come in the marketplace um, in the near future. But not yet. It's too, it's only gone down three points. That's not enough. We're looking for a shot lower, a quick, a quick sweep into liquidity. So go run those lows. That's what we're looking for. We just took a loss trying to long this thing and we're trying to get cute. Drawing liquidity is low, lower. Yeah, that's why I'm not adding on another contract. As you can tell from where my stop loss is, I'm willing to just keep shorting this thing higher. If now is not the time. We've got 33 minutes to the London Cash Open. We have non farm payrolls tomorrow. So expecting I think Price wants to run yesterday's New York lunch low. And so I think that is the draw on liquidity. I think that is Price's current objective, short term objective. And deshalb habe ich verkauft. Ich bin short. Drei Kontrakten. Und wir warten. Und wir sehen. I guess I guess we're going to be waiting So another part of my analysis, contra my current position, is that um, it might want to go revisit the New York midnight open price. Um, but I believe that the liquidity draw lo lower should be stronger than the draw higher. Um, so I've been playing this thing short all night. Did try to play it long once, took a loss. Mostly winning trades tonight, one loss. We are up on the account tonight, but not enough. We got work to do. We got to keep working. Probably going to be working all day. Got to make 3,600 fake dollars here. Lord willing, we will get there. Thanks for Michelle. Uh, thanks for Michelle. Так что мы ждем.
Looking for a shot lower here. This is looking good. You know, one minute one minute chart is suggesting good things. Like the analysis is on, is on point here. All right, let's go take a look at dollar index. We want to see this thing going up. Oh, that's an ICT bullish breaker right there, guys. Look at that. Dollar index is looking at very good, at least up to 103.129, guys. That's that's an ICT bullish breaker right there. Okay, looking for a shot higher here on the dollar index. Right here. Oh yeah. Redeliver that busy shot. Хорошо, хорошо. Да, мы ждем. Это три контракта. Это, это мне хватает. До сих пор. Я бы сказал. Хорошо. Двигаем пониже. Падаем. Это хорошо. Но стоп не будет на break-even. А, в этом времени нам нужно, нам нужно ждать. До того, как мы двигаем стоп. Stop the case. Не будет на break even прямо сейчас. Нужно ждать. Looking for a shot lower here on the NQ, and we're waiting patiently. We're waiting.
No. Still. I might have to wait. I don't know. My analysis was telling me this was this was going to be the shot lower, but I don't know now. I don't know. They're really hanging it there. They're really hanging it down here, working it, building up liquidity to the sell side. Yeah, maybe this thing goes all the way back up to New York Open midnight. Okay, guys, uh, break even stop is going in. As I don't want to see it go all the way up to New York Open midnight and just hang and draw down. Because here's, here's what I'm seeing right now, um, y'all, is basically if this thing is not ready to shoot lower yet into that sell side liquidity, if it's just hanging there, then I think it's going back up to New York open midnight, maybe higher. So rather than take that much drawdown, I'll put that stop in break even now. Just a tick in, a tick in profit. And so that'll just be commissions. Small loss, basically, with the commissions. It's not what I want, but this thing's not ready to shoot into that sell side liquidity yet. Then, it doesn't want to, if it doesn't want to go run that sell side liquidity yet, I think it's going above New York open midnight again. So, da 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 Risk management there. I don't know, guys. I don't feel great about it. Um, the stop is at break even. We'll reassess if we get stopped out. You know, one minute chart is. I don't know. I really don't want to long this thing. I would not want to long this thing. I think there's a strong draw on liquidity down, but it, they're just hanging it there. So I don't know. Could come all the way back up here to New York, open midnight. I'm not taking any longs on this, guys. Not when I think that the draw is lower. I'm not going to do any counter draw trade. I'm going to say with the draw. And I believe that the draw liquidity is lower at this time. So when it wants to do that, it's patiently waiting for it to do something. Perform as expected. Yeah, it's not a good idea to take counter draw trades. You can, but I generally would not do it. Yeah, I tried to get cute with the long there, go counter draw. Don't count. Don't, I just, my rule of mine just don't go counter draw. You got to find the draw. Don't go counter draw. Don't try to get cute. No cuteness. I was winning on all those shorts tonight because that was, you know, obviously the draw, right? So 
you got to know the draw and liquidity is the most important trade in that direction. Even if you're scalping, whatever, you got to don't trade counter draw. Okay, guys, don't trade counter draw. All right, we're getting a shot lower. It's not, you know, to the magnitude that I want. This thing does not want to give me what I want here. It just wants to, you know, fool around. 15 minutes until London Open. Looking for a good shot lower here on the NASDAQ. Just waiting now. Might have to trade the New York session tomorrow. Might not be able to get to that profit target uh, overnight. So, haven't traded New York in a good minute. Usually just hitting, hitting it or missing it overnight. guys we're waiting I am aware that price could go back up to that New York midnight open price I'm aware of it but I don't know not want to do anything too quickly right now. We're on the five minute NASDAQ, guys. We're waiting. A lot of waiting. Waiting to see if price wants to do what uh, we think it should do. Just shoot lower. Come run sell side liquidity. I believe that is what it's drawn to. Yep, I believe it's drawn down to this New York uh, lunch low.
All right, guys, we're waiting on the NASDAQ. Guys, we got a break even stop in the market to exercise some risk management. We're actually going to move it down a little bit. We're going to secure. Guys, we're going to secure a little bit of profit there. So now we're playing with the house money. We can feel comfortable. One and a quarter points there is enough to cover the commissions. Okay, there's a little sweep. All right, we just swept into sell side liquidity. I'd like to see it continue in this direction. Draw lower. Not moving the break even stop. Not on that. Okay, we're just waiting now, guys. Just waiting. Gotta stay patient. All right. I think the I think it's got another. You know. I think it should accelerate to the downside. Okay. Just sitting there right now, just considering. Well, it just hit the equilibrium of our higher time frame. Okay, now we're pushing into discount. Okay. Guys, we're going to hold on to these uh, buy limits. And the stop. Okay, guys, there it is. There it is. Okay, remove the break even stop down, trailing stop. So we're guaranteeing three and a half point uh, profitable trade here. I would rather see those buy limits get filled than I would to see the trailing stop, but at this point, I don't want to see it come and print all the way up to a green candle. That, that would be pretty unfortunate, right? So that's why it's there. Okay, so we're waiting. Waiting to see what price wants to do if it wants to hit our, hit our buy limits. Waiting, guys. Waiting to see if price wants to continue drawing lower. So just waiting on price here. See what it wants to do. All right. So we've got to exercise patience at all times, guys. You want to be successful at this, you got to sit. Put your hand off your mouse. We're, we're more concerned about the buy limits getting filled than we are covering at the market here. you gotta, you got to push these trades to your buy limits as much as you can. You know, your stop is there to protect you. It could come up to my stop. That's still a win. I don't see any reason why the market shouldn't continue, you know, to our buy limit. So we're just going to just gonna wait, guys. Just going to wait. That's all we're doing. I want to see it draw all the way down to my third contract, really. So we're waiting. Got the London cash open coming soon got a reaction right in front of my buy limits I'm not concerned about that I think the buy the buy stop my trailing stop is protecting me we can we can always just take that um, three and a half points and run but I, I want to see the I want to see the buy limits get filled I don't want to exit it at the market Repricing lower, running into that, or drawing down to that low I have circled there. Our buy limit should be comfortably filled here. Um, okay, soon. Don't even have a good retracement yet, guys, so we're just waiting.
I'm not going to cover it at the market. I'm going to wait. Buy limit is protect or buy stops protecting me. If it if it's once tick off, that's fine, guys. Whatever. If I ever want to graduate up to good levels of trading, you can't just cover at the market all the time. You got to try and let your buy limits get hit. So that's why um, I believe that my analysis is correct and that it should even get all the way down to my third contract. Okay. If it doesn't, the buy stop is there. If it doesn't, the buy stop is there. So we're waiting. I'm not going to put my, my hands away from the mouse, guys. And it's hard for me to exercise this sort of patience, but if I'm ever going to reach my potential, I know I can't just close these things out all the time. you got to try and let them play out sometimes. Exercise patience. It hasn't even, hasn't even shown any real retracement yet. It just, that's just a reaction. So we've got to show impulse control and, and wait. Not moving the buy stop. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. All right, we're going to have a green candle here. I guess I was one tick off, and that's fine. I was one tick off, huh? I'm not covering it. one tick off huh that's quite painful we do have London open coming and that could give us something look at that one tick off All right, 30 minutes.
That was very difficult to watch Price react there and turn around and get that reaction one tick from my first two contracts. Uh, very difficult to watch that and, and not uh, pull the trigger there to cover the short. But I'm trying to exercise discipline here. And I think that price should be drawing even lower. Should go down there to that third contract, really. So I'm just waiting. Um, okay, okay, that's good. I believe that the Lord will reward patience. And um, I'm trying to exercise patience here. So, talking you through it, I mean, yeah. If I, you know, the buy stops there to protect me. So, it, get, it gets hit, it gets hit. I don't see why price shouldn't draw, draw lower. I'm not saying it. Just deliver that bissy there on the left side of the chart. Okay. London Cash Open is coming shortly. I think we might get a spike down on that. I'm hoping that we get a spike down on that and come in and fill in my buy limits. That's what I'm hoping for. One minute. Want to get a good spike down here on the NASDAQ on that London Cash Open. Draw down to that New York lunch low. Maybe go run it. Got non firm payrolls tomorrow, so the price, you know. Non firm payrolls tomorrow. Price could get some good movement here in the overnight session, I think. I'm thinking. So we're waiting. Trying to be patient. And London Cash Open in 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds. London, London is about to open its stock exchange. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Okay, still waiting. There it is. Bang, we're out too. Okay. There you can see we exited two cons there, two contracts right there. Now we're only short one. And thinking that we might come run this low. Uh, at that point, I'll probably end this recording. If we get there. Okay, guys. Um, my buy stopped there in that one contract. I'm not moving it. I'm leaving it. I actually scratched that. It's coming there. Risk management, guys. Went to a five minute chart. Okay, we're out two contracts. We're still short um, one. Um, I'm going to stop this recording if we get stopped out or if we get the buy limit filled. And we will see. Either way. Guys, this is the London Silver Bullet Hour. Okay, we're drawing lower. At this point, the buy stop is going to trail it. Going to trail it pretty aggressively. Okay. Right there.
you know, you know, if it doesn't push that low right now, it could really have a strong bullish reaction. So we'll see. I want to see it push that low, but I don't know. Might not sweep it right now. I'll just ride on the London Open. Maybe not. There's non-farm payrolls tomorrow, so price might be in a hurry. Okay. The buy stop is going to trail price. We're probably just going to be stopped out here, guys. That's perfectly fine. We're going to lock in that profit. It's reacting right now. It's, you know, it's thinking about turning around. We might flush. I don't know if we flush or not. What is a flush when it, you know, makes a clean move down? It's flushing. Trading terminology. I'd like to get a flush here down to the buy limit. Buy stop would be fine too. Okay. Just gonna let it be stopped out. And I have to quickly cancel the buy limit. It's hanging there. I don't know if it flushes or not right now. I really don't. Either way, I'm locking in all the profit. I'm happy with that. I'm just pulling it. Okay, guys. That has been the London session. Or Frankfurt into London Cash. Um, I just hope that you all saw some risk management there. You um, saw me talk through. Uh, trying to be patient, waiting for that flush that came on the London Cash Open. Uh, we did get it, guys. I showed you the draw on liquidity. We made it to the draw on liquidity. I showed you the bearish breaker, the longer time frame. You know, what I was looking for there. We got it. Um, so that being said, um, that was your breaker right there. Now, he has not, guys, I just want you to know that Michael has not taught this model yet or this concept. But that, do you see that yellow box right there? That should be time distortion. Okay. Where, and what do I mean by time distortion? It's like it was already in the cards that price was going to flush lower, but they're, they're waiting for the right. The algorithm is waiting for the right time to do that. So it's just hanging around, right? This bearish breaker, guys. Okay. Do you see how it was high, low, and then higher high? Do you see how that high swept that liquidity right there? And it also swept that internal. Do you see how it swept that, that liquidity? All of that action there that was in the yellow box, none of that ever invalidated this bearish breaker. It was, it should, that should be just time distortion. It's just, you know, sitting there waiting for the flush, waiting for the right time to do it. I'm sure that he'll talk about time distortion more. Um, but anyways, uh, you notice that bearish breaker? I've been following that idea for hours and hours, guys, hours and hours, and finally we got the flush. Um, so. With that being said, we've still got work to do. Uh, we've got um, we got to get to 157, 197. And we got like $1,500 still to make, guys. we got work to do. We're halfway there. Uh, but it's good to be halfway there here in the London session. Uh, then, you know, have to make 3600 in the New York session. Right now, uh, price has just delivered a, a kind of a higher time frame low there, so um, I need to wait. I need to wait to see what price gives us. Now, if price wants to get really nasty, we'll see. I don't know. Do I just start? Do I stop this recording? Guys, this is London Silver Bullet Hour. I just hope you know. It is. At this point, if price is really going to get nasty, y'all, in the overnight session, it's drawing all the way down. At least drawing to 175. If it wants to get really nasty, I'm just telling you. So this is London Silver Bullet time. I'll start up a new recording. Um, take a quick break, start up a new recording.
Um, all right, this has been the uh, first half of the London session, guys. Um, I'm going to look for a silver bullet entry now. Bye.